Hi, young artists. It's me, Miss P. Today, I want to talk a little bit about a scientist and an inventor. His name is George Washington Carver, and he made a lot of advancements in the field of farming in the late 1800s. So, he was actually born the year before slavery was outlawed, but then he was free and he pursued his, um, his education. He was actually the first black man to earn um, a Bachelor of Science in the United States. And then he went to Iowa State University in Tuskegee. And like I said, he made lots of advancements in farming. Specifically, he had this idea of crop rotation. He saw that the soil was getting kind of tired from growing all these plants. So he decided to plant things that would sort of refresh the soil, that would give the soil some nutrients so it could grow more plants. Um, and some of these were peanuts and sweet potatoes. And then with these crops that he grew, he invented like different flowers and foods and things like that, that people could eat so he could make use of these crops that were also sort of giving nutrients to the soil. So in honor of that, we're gonna make a little garden sort of drawing of some sweet potatoes and some peanuts. I had a good time doing this, so I hope you will too. The things that I used for this project were, um, I used a piece of paper, obviously. I used watercolor, I used a crayon, and Sharpie, and pencil, and yeah, that's about it. What I would like from you for this is I would like you to show both underground and above ground. And I would like you to do at least one plant. You don't have to do both. You can do both if you want to, but you don't have to. Those are my two expectations from this project, but I would say that's about it. Okay, let's get started. All right, everybody, I am going to get started by drawing uh, my my sort of landscape first in pencil and then I'm going to do it in Sharpie. So I'm doing my best to make it so you can see the stuff that I'm drawing in pencil. I know it's always hard to see what I'm doing in pencil. So I'm starting with some big circles that are overlapping each other, which means some are going on top of each other. And I'm doing these sort of peanut rounded shapes over here and they're sort of grouped together as well. After that, I am going to draw some lines up to the surface of the ground right there, two lines, and I'm connecting all of the peanuts to the top of the ground, as well with just some little lines that I end up outlining in Sharpie. So I do two little lines up here, but I just end up outlining those as one line. And now you can see I'm doing some more lines down to the bottom of these potatoes, and I'm gonna do the same with my peanuts to show the roots of the plant growing the peanuts and the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go up and do my leaves now. And the peanut leaves are your average leaves that are sort of teardrop shaped. And then the sweet potato leaves are actually, I would call them heart shaped. You'll see right here that they're kind of heart shaped and that's what sweet potato leaves looked like. So I put some heart shaped leaves in there um, I would definitely like you to draw these plants as well with the leaves. All right, so now I'm gonna do this nice and slow in Sharpie. You'll see that I'm tracing out my potatoes and I'm giving them little points at the end. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it made them look more like a potato growing in the ground and sort of attached it to those bottom roots that I'm going to be drawing right here. Okay, now I'm going and doing a straight line across my paper. You could call this the horizon line. It's where the dirt meets the sky. And I'm doing some more little lines for my roots over there. And then I'm gonna get started with uh, all the roots and my peanuts for my peanut plant. And so it's like I'm doing an oval, but the oval's kind of rounded in the middle. Um, and that's how I'm drawing a peanut 
looks like a peanut. I think you guys will be just fine drawing these. And I'm going ahead and I'm doing the same thing with the roots that I have, just drawing them up to the surface and drawing some roots under my peanut plant, just rooting the whole plant to the ground. Okay, now I'm drawing my uh, leaves that go along with my sweet potato and peanut plants. I'm drawing those heart-shaped leaves. They're sort of drooping down. And here you can see I'm drawing all the way up to the top of my paper, just as many leaves as I can sort of fit on my piece of paper here. All right, now I'm going to draw those other leaves, which are shaped like leaves or teardrops or raindrops, whatever you want to call them. And I am tracing those out now. Okay, this port part I feel like is very important. I'm gonna grab my crayons and I'm gonna do a couple of details on both my sweet potatoes and my peanuts. I'm gonna do, you know, the peanuts have a sort of, sort of grid on them, on peanut shells, you'll notice, I'm sure you know. And um, I thought it would look nice if before I started painting, I went ahead and did some details with crayon. You guys know I love to do that. I do that with a lot of projects. <laughs> so, um, I'm taking a second to erase all the details that I don't want here. Just speeding that up a little bit. Cleaning up my paper. And I'm getting out some crayons to continue working on my crayon details. Now I'm grabbing this reddish, like pinkish crayon. If you've ever had sweet potatoes, you'll know that they're kind of reddish, orangish, and on the outside, they have skins that are kind of reddish. So I'm adding some little red spots. I think they're called eyes on a potato. Um, I'm adding some of those to add some detail to my potatoes. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a darker uh, green crayon, and I'm going to do some of the veins of the leaves. Um, I always like doing this. I feel like it works really well when you're doing watercolor. If you want to have details that you know are going to stick around, you can take a crayon and do those details because they'll show through the watercolor pretty much always. I also wanted to note here that I do end up coloring in any of the vines I have up top with my green crayon because I just think that it's going to be difficult to put in a little bit of green watercolor um, amongst all the blue watercolor that I'm gonna put in there for the sky. So I'm just going ahead and coloring in that small space with the crayon just to make it less complicated for myself. All right, it's that time. It's watercolor time. I'm gonna start watercoloring some of my underground stuff. I'm gonna do my peanuts as like a light brown and then I'm gonna do the dirt as a sort of solid brown color. You'll notice I sped up this part of the video. I don't wanna make this video too long for you guys. Um, and I'm always, I'm always thinking about that when I'm speeding stuff up and you all know how to do watercolor. So I'm not too worried about that. You can see I'm using a really small brush here for my peanuts. Um, I was trying to use the kind of brush that all of you get in your watercolor sets. But if you are able to, it's always good to get a bigger brush for larger portions of the paper here. If, um, if you're doing your brown for the uh, dirt or if you're doing your blue for the sky, it does help to use a slightly bigger brush. And the brush I'm using here, it's still pretty small, but I think it's a little bit bigger than the ones you get in those watercolor palettes. Those brushes are always so small.
Okay, I'm all done with the dirt. I might end up putting another layer of brown over that. It's not that smooth. But you can see I mixed together a little bit of brown in some red, and that's what color I'm doing my sweet potatoes. I was pretty happy with this color I picked out for my sweet potatoes. I think it came out pretty nicely. So I'm gonna start doing the sky, and I'm gonna go around those leaves I do, and I'm still using that brush that's a little bit bigger because I have this half sheet of paper. I guess my brush doesn't have to be that big. course I can't forget to do my leaves in a nice green shade um, over here and then once I'm done with those leaves I'm gonna be pretty much done with this piece of artwork I think it's cool to draw something above and below ground I don't know I, I think it's cool to figure out how peanuts and potatoes grow because honestly I wasn't sure how peanuts grew but now we know and we found out together so, there's my finished piece. I hope you enjoyed this project. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.